What's up everyone? So in the last video we saw how to download and deploy the FortiGate image. So in this video we're going to continue the process of installing the FortiGate as the gateway for a network. So we're going to use two interfaces. Uh, the first one will be port 1 as this is going to be used as the LAN interface and port 2 will be used as the one interface. Uh, we're going to use the FortiGate as the gateway with the IP uh, 1065.74.254 and we're going to enable DHCP server on this interface as well. As for the one side, we're just going to, we, we're just going to assign the IP 192.168.126.254. So part of this configuration will be done using the CLI and the graphical use interface. So let's get to the CLI and start assigning the IP address. Okay, so we we'll have to log in. And if we type get system interface, uh, we can see that port one uh, is in operational mode DHCP, which means it expecting to be assigned an IP address dynamically so we'll have to change this to static because we want to assign the IP address and port 2 we see that the mode is static and the status is app another command that we can use uh, related to interface it's show system system interface port 1 so we can see that we are able to manage the FortiGate uh, by using HTTPS, SSH, HTTP, and FGFM. So essentially, just want to confirm which protocols we can use to manage uh, the FortiGate. So let's edit uh, the system. So feed system interface. And first we want to edit port 1 so we're going to set the mode to static and we're going to set the ip to 1065 74 to 54 and now we're going to set the mask okay and that's it now for port 2 we're going to set the ip to 192.168.126.254 and we're going to assign the mask as well. And we're going to save this. So we start uh, get port one. You can see that the IP was assigned to it. And if we look at port two, it is okay. So now let's go back to the PC and change the IP so we can manage the fourth gate using the new address okay so let me confirm the ip that i have at the moment 65 okay so it means we should be able to reach portigate we can okay and we should uh, land on the status dashboard where we can see a summary of the FortiGate status. So we want to continue editing the interface. So for this, we'll navigate to network interfaces. And we want to edit port one. So just for easy reference and future, I'm going to set the alias as LAN interface and the row has LAN. And we want to enable the DHCP server to assign uh, the IPs from the range 200 to 250. So the gateway will be the same as the interface IP, which means it's going to be 1065.74.254. And the DNS server to be the same as the system DNS, which means that if the fourth gate gets assigned a DNS IP, 
is going to forward this same information to the clients. So there's nothing else to change. So we can save this. Yes, I'm sure. Okay, and we didn't lose access. That's great. So managing the FortiGate often involves more than one administrators and it is a best practice and also recommended that each administrator has its own account. So now let's see how to create uh, another administrator on the FortiGate. So for this, we go to system administrators and we can see that by default, we only have one admin. There are different profiles by default. There are profile admin and super admin that we can assign to the administrators. And the super admin is the one with the higher privilege than prof admin. So we're going to create one more administrator and it's going to be administrator. And you type the name as Lazio. And this is going to be a local user and we're going to set the password. Okay. And the profile we're going to assign prof admin and we're just going to save this. And we can test its access. If we log out. Try to log in as Celesio. And I already failed the password. Okay, so we should be able to perform some changes, but not as the same as a super admin. Oh, because this is the first time to log in. If we go to system administrators, we're not able to see the super admins. So this is one of the difference uh, between the super admin and the prof admin profile. So let's log out and log in again as uh, the admin. Now, while making these changes on the FortiGate, it is recommended to have uh, an up-to-date backup of the configuration file and this is very helpful in case we might need to upgrade the FortiGate or to prevent to recreate all the configuration in case something happens to the FortiGate. So FortiGate recommends to have a backup online which means on the same uh, management PC or offline uh, for redundancy purpose. So to back up the configuration file, uh, we click here at the top on configuration and we click on backup and we have the option to save to a USB disk or local PC and whether we want to use encryption or not. So we're just going to perform a clear backup and we have the file. So see and open this using notepad and we can see all the configuration done so far and in case we might need to restore uh, the configuration from a file so the process will be the same so we just go to configuration restore and then we'll select the file uh, let's see if i can find it and we're going to upload the file so that's essentially how to restore the configuration file to the FortiGate. So essentially, these are some of the tests that we have to do on a new deployment of FortiGate. So in the next video, we'll get started with the firewall policies and network address translation. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next one.